Hello, welcome to my ironing board where I will have an unboxing of the HTC Sensation 4G. This is my very first smartphone. Hey, by T-Mobile. I plan to unlock this phone. So I bought this phone on eBay for a small amount of money small as in large so let's open this it's important by purchasing or opening this package or using t-mobile service you agree to be bound by this i can't see that um basically it's a warning by t-mobile so i'll open it yeah i got a little thing on my hand ow Okay, opening with one hand because I'm using my other hand to hold the camera. Ugh. Okay, haha, <laughs> haha, important. I'll keep this right here next to my Core i5. Important. Okay, here's the phone. Got this in the mail. Here we go. Haha, <laughs> wow. So I opened it and the phone is upside down and there's a lot of air bubbles on the phone which looks like someone has tampered with it which makes me quite sad. Dude, this guy who sold me this my phone just kind of fell in the... Huh. So, the guy who sold me this phone actually already opened it and played with it and there's air bubbles all over my screen protector. What the heck? So, I hope it's not messed up. Okay, USB cable. Yes, this is still uh, sealed. Okay, this is stereo headset. It's also still sealed. And this is a... There's no sticker, but uh, it's the plug. And this is also still sealed. Good. So the guy didn't open those. Okay. Whoa! There's a instruction manual. Um, hey, with limited warranty. Sweet. I will need this if I need to return the phone because there's a return policy. And that is it. Okay, so this is the phone. I, the screen protector almost fell off. So this is the phone. As you can see, it has three different colors on the back. It has two flash LED light bulbs and a camera. Those little black dots, I don't know what they are, but I assume they're external microphones to um, for use for noise cancellation, I guess. I don't know. And, yes. Uh, with HTC Sense. Okay. This is my phone. It's by T-Mobile. I'm gonna have to unlock it somehow. There's like a website to unlock these phones online that's like $30 just to get an unlock code. And apparently if you enter the code in wrong a couple times, then your phone will be not usable, like bricked or I don't know the term. This is my first smartphone, so this is my first time learning all these unlocking terminology things. And I don't even know how unlocking works. How can I give the guy my, my, like, I whatever number on my phone and then have him send me a code online? Where does he get the code information from? I don't know. But okay, so I also bought a case. As you can see, the case has a little cardboard, uh, Furnish my phone. Haha. <laughs> Just like in China. This case was a dollar fifty. Ten RMB. That's uh eh, it's okay. And then I also bought two stealth shields. Um they're full body protectors for this phone. I bought this on eBay also. Um a lot of people like to use the invisible shield by Zag. I use that for my PSP. Um but this seems just as good. You can't really tell, but they have little cutouts to cover the whole body of my phone. 
good out two of them, so if one of them gets messed up, I can replace it. So I plan to use this phone for about six years. Yeah, hopefully by that time, it's still workable, usable. You know, that's the only problem with Android is that new phones and better phones come out every month or maybe every two months, and then when for the iPhone. It's like a new phone comes out once a year, which is like, oh yeah, I already have the latest iPhone, even though it's eight months old, you know, but for my HTC phone, it's kind of like, hey, I have the latest, coolest phone, and it's only one week old, but then like after a month, it's like, oh, there's a phone that's better than this. So I chose HTC Sense 4G, not because it has 4G, but because it's, I don't really know why. I just saw an article on on online I know it's terrible talking about this phone and I just wanted to get it um, apparently from every review it seems this phone is really good but not as good as the Samsung Galaxy 2 which is slightly better than this it is better than this in that it is thinner it is lighter it has a different kind of screen which arguably is better than the sense screen I looked online on YouTube, the video quality of the Samsung Gal Galaxy 2 is better than this, slightly better. It's less um, jittery when the phone's moving around. And web browsing is faster. So yeah, um, but for this phone, what's better with this is that it is, uh, it looks cooler, it's rounder, it has an aluminum body which makes it stronger. Um, and that it is an HTC, which means it has their HTC Sense software, and they have, it looks cooler, the UI of this is cooler, and probably more professional, or just more awesome gadget software, and you, I guess there's more apps or widgets for it too. So, yeah, I just got this because my wife has an HTC that I bought her, she has an HD2. And then I just want to get another HTC too. <laughs> so, yeah, my brother is probably watching this and going crazy. Like, what? What? Mason, why did you buy a cell phone? You don't even have a cell phone service. You're wasting money. You're not even making a lot of money right now. Ah. Well, um, I could try to counter that argument by saying that I need this phone so that it can access Wi-Fi and I can check my work email and keep up to date with my meetings and uh, work. Um, yes. So uh, this is kind of like a birthday present to myself. I didn't get it at the retail price. I got it for cheaper. I got it on eBay and I'm a really good eBay sniper. So yeah. Um, and this was $1.50 and these were these were six fifty, so $8 for that plus this. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid this for, because no matter how much I'll say, my brother will still get angry at me. But, yes, so I have a new phone that I plan to use for six years, and we will see how that goes. I'm going to go put on the screen protectors now. So, this was a terrible review, because it wasn't a review, which is a guy talking about his phone. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Bye-bye. I just took the shell off of my phone. And I noticed that there is no 8 gigabyte micro SD card in the micro SD card slot like there is supposed to be. It's supposed to have an 8 gigabyte micro SD card come standard with this phone, but it's missing, which means this phone really has been tampered with by the eBay seller. And, and I don't know if I should confront him about this because sending this back will cost money and with that money I could already buy another 8 gigabyte micro SD card. Ugh, I hate this. I'm just gonna give him a negative review on eBay and say how dumb he is. And I'll hunt him down because I know his address. Yes, and I'll burn his house down. Oh, 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 oh. No, I won't do that. I'll just wish that his house was burned down. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm not that evil. Or maybe I am. I am so angry right now. 
the guy opened my phone and touched it and took away parts from it. He is going down. Or she. It might be a she also. Yeah, it's probably a she. Those evil, evil girls.